Be aware of the warnings of possible coastal flooding. More than 20 counties have been ordered to evacuate. And right now you're looking live at Destin, Florida, at what you could call the calm before the storm. The beach practically deserted and the waves are really starting to pick up. And now for Chief Meteorologist Ashley Gann is meteorologist Sarah Canty. You've been tracking Michael all day mm -hmm. and you've seen it strengthen. It, it has, especially over the past 24 hours. Now a major hurricane, a category three storm. Nothing to mess with if you live along the Florida Panhandle, but also even through South Alabama. And we're feeling the effects somewhat right now. You can see all the cloud cover. We're seeing this surge of tropical air, which is fueling the cloud cover and also a few showers down to our south. But all eyes right now on Michael. This is a massive and very powerful storm. Wind speed sustained at 120 miles per hour, tracking towards the north at 12 miles per hour. It'll continue to gain strength, and we're going to be watching just how strong this storm is by the time it makes landfall by tomorrow afternoon. You can see these bright reds here just showing you how strong the air area uh, the eye and the center of circulation is of this storm. This is a massive storm that is heading towards Panama City Beach and going to impact the Big Bend of Florida and even South Alabama and we're going to feel the effects as well towards us. Now looking back to the west, we're seeing this clearly defined cold front that is going to steer Michael off to the north and east. So that's why even though the storm is moving towards the north now, it is going to start to hook off to the east by tomorrow afternoon and by Thursday morning. Hurricane warnings all along the Florida Panhandle. We even have tropical storm warnings for South Alabama from Gulf Shores back through Dothan, up through Troy, and then back through Georgia. So a lot of people going to be feeling the effects of this storm for the next 48 hours. So the rain will start tomorrow morning. Landfall as a Category 3 hurricane just east of Panama City. Still a narrow area of uncertainty. This cone of uncertainty is shrinking now that we are getting closer, and it's been fairly consistent that landfall will be in between Apalachicola and Panama City. But no matter where landfall is, back towards the east, this is a massive storm. So storm surge will be huge all the way through the Big Bend and through Apalachicola. Heavy rainfall and the potential for flash flooding through Georgia through the day on Wednesday and Thursday through the Carolinas before finally racing out of here by the time we hit the end of the week. So here's the latest models on when the rain is really going to start to pick up around tomorrow morning along the Florida Gulf Coast. And then landfall expected right around between 1 and 3 o'clock in between Panama City Beach and Apalachicola. But look at all the heavy rainfall back even as far as Cedar Key up through Perry and the Big Bend region of Florida. This is where the heaviest rainfall will be, the greatest storm surge as there's a steady winds out of the south pulling on shore from the rotating around the center of that storm will continue to track through Tifton, Georgia through the day on Thursday and then continue to track on out of here. So we are on the western side. We are going to have a cold front moving through at the same time. So rain chances are really going to be on the rise east of Interstate 65, but the heaviest rainfall totals will be down to our south anywhere from 7 to 10 inches possible for Dothan and Panama City areas. Storm surge will be greatest towards east of Panama City, so the Big Bend region could see anywhere from 10 to 14 feet of storm surge. So that's going to be a big issue along the Florida coastline. We are gradually going to clear up by the time we hit Thursday morning. So we will see mainly the showers in East Alabama closer towards Auburn, but we will still have that front moving through that will fire up showers not associated with Michael, but steering Michael up to our north and east. So I do expect many of us to see showers by tomorrow afternoon through the evening. It's going to be pretty wet, gradually clearing out by Thursday morning. If you live in West Alabama, you're likely not going to see much of anything other than a few showers ahead of that front. Now, the front moves through and we start to feel like fall by the time we hit Friday morning.